Advanced Authentication Acumatica supports multi-factor authentication for companies which require additional login security. Multi-factor authentication can be implemented using a combination of different authentication mechanisms. Ideally, you implement a mechanism with something you know, such as a password, in combination with something you have, such as a fob or mobile phone, or something you are, such as a fingerprint. With Acumatica, you can implement multi-factor authentication by using two-factor authentication that is native to Acumatica, by integrating a single sign-on provider, or by using a VPN. In this video, we review the native multi-factor authentication provided by Acumatica. Information about delivering multi-factor authentication via a single sign-on provider is provided in this Tech Tuesday article. After the initial username password entry, Acumatica supports several authentication options. The secondary authentication option can be enforced for all logins or only when a new device is used. Setting up native multi-factor authentication is easy. Administrators specify two-factor defaults and contact information for users. First, enable advanced authentication on the Enable Disable Features screen. This feature switch is new in 2020 R1. Set the defaults in Security Preferences. These defaults are applied to all users. When using native Acumatica functionality, you do not need to set up an external identity provider. For each user, you can override the default settings as shown here. In this example, I make two-factor authentication required for one of my users. After requiring two-factor authentication, I need to specify contact details so Acumatica can send authorization information to users. On the employee record, I can specify an email address so the system can send authentication codes. When employees log in using the Acumatica mobile application, the system records device information to enable push notifications. The first time that a user logs in, they must enter an access code provided to the employee's email address. To receive an SMS message, employees add their mobile phone number to the user profile. As an administrator, I can log in as a user and verify the number that I have entered. With everything set up, I'm ready to show the multi-factor authentication process. After entering my username and password, the system automatically sends a push notification to my mobile device. With one click, I can approve the request. Since my phone has a security password, I also need to enter that. After entering this code, I automatically am logged in to Acumatica. By default, Acumatica uses push notifications. Push notifications only work when a valid license has been applied, but I can send a request using a different authentication mechanism. In this example, I request to receive a code via email. An email with an authorization code is immediately generated and delivered to the user. After entering the authorization code, I'm granted access to Acumatica. Acumatica also provides SMS messaging. For this authentication technique to work, I configure an SMS provider. In this example, I'm using a Twilio account, but you can also use Amazon Web Services. As soon as I request a code, Acumatica sends an SMS message to my phone. I enter the code, and I'm instantly granted access to Acumatica. A fourth technique allows me to authenticate using an access code that I generate on my mobile device. This mechanism is similar to email, but it's more convenient for people logged into the mobile application. Acumatica Advanced Authentication provides an economical way to implement two-factor authentication using email on your mobile phone. The service is easy to set up and manage so that security-conscious firms can extend system security beyond a username and password using a variety of authentication techniques. Customers who purchase Acumatica Advanced Authentication can accept single sign-ons from external entity providers who provide multi-factor authentication as an alternative to the native mechanism. For more information about Acumatica, visit our website or contact an Acumatica partner.